Welcome to Sacred Heart University and thanks for joining us on our virtual tour. My name is Tori Vaca. And my name is Alex Myers. We're going to go ahead and get started here at Curtis Hall. So this is where your journey begins here at SHU. This is the home for undergraduate admissions, international admissions, and student financial assistance. We're going to go ahead and get started on our tour. Before we begin, we should introduce you to our mascot, Big Red the Pioneer. We're called the Pioneers because Sacred Heart was the first Catholic university founded by the laity. But more than that, the Pioneer is who we all are and who we hope you one day will become. Next time you're on campus, make sure you rub Big Red's hat. It usually means good luck throughout our admissions process. Nothing says Pioneers like athletics at SHU. We have 32 Division I NCAA teams, 35 club sports teams, and a bunch of intramurals as well. Our athletic complexes include the William H. Pitt Athletic and Convocation Center for Varsity Athletics and the Bobby Valentine Health and Recreation Center. The Bobby Valentine Health and Recreation Center opened in August of 2019 and is named after Bobby Valentine, former player manager in the MLB. Bobby V serves as our Executive Director of Athletics. This state-of-the-art 60,000 square foot facility includes brand new workout areas, a rock climbing wall, full-size gym, golf simulator, six-lane bowling alley, and areas for yoga, Pilates, Zumba, and spinning. Also included is an indoor track and aerobic smoothie bar, everything you need to keep yourself active and refreshed. Here at SHU, one thing is for certain, you're going to eat well. SHU Dining, our campus food service, has created an amazing variety of food options for our students. We're in front of JP's Diner, a 1950s style retro, New Jersey style diner named by our student government for our president, John Patillo. I mean, how many schools have their own diner? Only three. SHU is one of only three schools in the nation to have its own diner on campus. JP's Diner is one of three main dining halls on campus. The other two are Linda's Cafe, located in McMahon Commons, and 63's Dining Hall, located right in the heart of campus. Linda's is a food court style dining hall with several different stations to satisfy whatever you may be craving. 63's is an all-you-can-eat style with different stations and an ever-changing menu. In addition to our main dining halls, we also have the Market at Shoe, which is a grab-and-go style option complete with Starbucks coffee right next to 63's. We also have Einstein's Bagels and Balanced Kitchen, a healthy dining option located at our Center for Healthcare Education. Whether you are vegan, vegetarian, have a dietary restriction, or an allergy, Shoe Dining will work with you to make sure you are good to go each and every day. Like we said, you're going to eat well here at Shoe. Okay, we just checked out where you're going to eat on campus. Let's check out where you're going to live if you're going to be a residential student here. At SHU, you have the opportunity for four years of housing, and the first two are required, so you have to live on campus for your freshman and your sophomore year. Here we are at Merton and Seton Hall, two of our freshman residence halls. The others are Roncalli Hall, Toussaint Hall, and Bergoglio Hall. Freshman housing offers both double and triple room accommodations. Each building has an RHD, a residence hall director, who oversees the building and multiple RSAs, or resident success assistants, who oversee different floors and help work with making your on-campus living experience the best it can be. All of our freshman residence halls come furnished with beds, dressers, desks, chairs, and micro fridges, a combo of a microwave, freezer, and fridge so you won't have to bring your own. Our buildings are updated regularly and cleaning services make sure that each building is well maintained. Living on campus is an important part of so many students' experiences. She wants to provide the best in that experience for you creating memories along the way with your roommates and friends. Also, if you are looking at SHU but may want to live in the local area and want to commute, that's an option. SHU has a long legacy of commuter students since our founding in 1963. Your ability to get involved in everything on campus remains the same. If you're thinking about being a commuter, visit the website here for more information. To see more of our residence halls and to see how the housing process works at SHU, visit sacredheart.edu slash reslife. We've seen where you're going to eat. We've seen where you're going to live. Now let's see where you're going to study. Here we are at the Frank and Marissa Marcieri Center for the Liberal Arts, just one of many of Sacred Heart's academic spaces. Whether you're coming in undecided or you already know your major, we have 60 different academic programs to choose from here. Within all our programs, one thing is clear, you will have personalized attention both in and outside of the classroom. The average class size at SHU is 22 students and the student to teacher ratio is 13 to one. The classrooms at SHU provide an intimate approach to learning with state of the art technology and data capturing capabilities, amazing labs, simulation areas, and new innovative programs that are revolutionizing the way the students learn in the classroom. In addition to the Martiri Center for the Liberal Arts, there's also our main academic building. 
Just down Park Avenue, we have our Center for Healthcare Education building. This houses our Davis and Henley College of Nursing as well as our College of Health Professions. Just a fourth of a mile down the road from our main academic building is our West Campus, the former GE World Headquarters. This now is home to our Jack Welch College of Business and Technology, School of Computer Science and Engineering, and Isabel Farrington College of Education. All these areas lead you on a path of success in the classroom. Right in the heart of campus, you'll find our Chapel of the Holy Spirit, which is the spiritual center of the university. SHU is the second largest Catholic university in New England, and the chapel is essential to show who and what we are. Opened in 2009, the Chapel of the Holy Spirit provides a space for all students, regardless of their religion. Masses are offered here during the week and on Sundays at noon and 7 p.m. The most visual part of the chapel are the mosaics that were designed by Father Marco Rupnik, a world-renowned Jesuit artist who is the personal artist to Saint Pope John Paul II. The mosaics can be found throughout the chapel. As a part of our SHU identity, we have a very active campus ministry team that is open to all students. From participating in masses to holding retreats, seminars, and speaker series, there are a lot of different ways for students to get involved on campus through their faith. One of the most important parts of your college experience is going to be getting involved. And here at SHU, that is key. There are so many different ways to get involved on this campus. And whatever you would like to get involved in, Sacred Heart most likely offers it. Here we are at our Edgerton Plaza, which is the gateway for all student involvement. You have the Edgerton Center for the Performing Arts, which is home to our performing arts programs, including band and orchestra, choral programs, theater arts, and dance. Inside is the epicenter for student involvement. This is the home to student life and student activities, which puts on amazing events all year long, from daily small events to our themed weeks and spring concerts. Also, here is student government and sorority and fraternity life, which provides an amazing program for our students to create bonds on campus. In addition to these areas, we also have amazing volunteer program opportunities. Last year, Princeton Review named SHU 13th in the nation for community service because we donate over 100,000 hours of community engagement to both the local and global community. Again, whatever you're looking to involve yourself in at SHU, you have the ability to do so. Take advantage of every opportunity. Let's take a look at some of our other student service areas on campus. Here we are at the Ryan Matura Library, the university's main library. The library offers many research and study spaces for students to use, including rooms you can reserve by the hour to practice presentations. PC and Mac stations are also available. Right across the street from main campus is the Sheila Hamilton Student Success Center, which houses the Office of Student Accessibility and the Jander Sevitz Learning Center. Both of these offices provide academic support for students and give them the skills to become lifelong learners. Right next to our Student Success Center is what we call the Prez Res. This is where our president, Dr. Bertillo, lives. Here we are at the Maureen Hamilton Wellness Center, home to our health and counseling services at Sacred Heart. This space is for students who are feeling ill and seeking medical attention, or for the university's counseling services, which provide free and confidential counseling to students. Here we are at the WSHU and public safety facilities. WSHU is an affiliate of NPR and operates right here on campus. This is also the home of public safety. We have a very safe campus and we are patrolled 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year by our public safety team. Here we are at McMahon Commons, which houses the university bookstore for all of your shoe swag and book needs, as well as our on-campus pub reds and the Center for Career and Professional Development. Your career development begins the second you step on campus here at SHU. And the staff in the Center for Career and Professional Development will aid you every step of the way from finding your dream internship to landing your dream job. We're going to end our tour here at the Upper Quad Residential Village. When completed, there will be six residence halls and will house over 900 students, and there'll also be a new dining hall. This space represents the Sacred Heart is a growing university highlighted by an amazing campus. We hope when you arrive on campus, you understand why this university is so special. Thanks for joining us. We hope that one day soon, you'll be able to call yourself a pioneer.